Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Fran, I'm from Venezuela, and today we are going to be reacting to a video called Ricky Gervais at the Golden Globes 2020. All of his bit chained. Okay, so this is, seems to be a compilation. Ricky Gervais, probably like the monologue he was presenting at the Golden Globes. Ricky Gervais, you know, he's a comedian. I believe he's British. I'm guessing because usually like in these award ceremonies, they, you know, the, the presenter, the comedian, is like riffing on, on, on the actors. You know, in a way that's kind of um, pretty, like, I don't know, offensive or they're trying to, like, get a rile up out of people. Usually that's the case. Um, sort of like they're punching, they're punching down. But, you know, obviously, like, how much can you, like, really punch down? Because, you know, they're actors, they're, like, really rich, they're famous. So you can't really, like, punch down, you know, it's not, like, that sort of uh, comedy. But, you know, it's, um, they're trying to, like, get a rile out of people and, you know, make, you know, like, oh my god, like, I can't believe he said that. So I'm guessing, like, that's usually how it goes. Um, I don't know if this is the case. Um, so let's check it out and comment, like, subscribe, and... And now, your host for the evening... Hello and welcome to the 77th Annual Golden Globe Awards, live from the Beverly Hilton Hotel here in Los Angeles. I'm Ricky Gervais, thank you. Um, you'll, you'll be pleased to know this is the last time I'm hosting these awards, so okay. I don't care anymore. Um, okay, I'm joking. good. I never did. Um, oh, <laughs> you sure? NBC clearly don't care either, fifth time. So, I mean, Kevin Hart was fired from the Oscars because of some offensive tweets. Hello. <laughs> Lucky for me, the Hollywood foreign press can barely speak English. And... Come on, no. I have no idea what Twitter is. So, That's I got a low off of this gig by fax. So, let's go out with a bang. Let's have a laugh at your expense, shall exactly, we? Exactly, yeah, that's how it goes. Remember, they're just jokes. We're all yes. gonna die soon, and there's no sequel. So... <laughs> sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Remember that. Um, but you all look lovely, love all doled up. You came here in your limos. I came here in a limo tonight, and the license plate was made by Felicity Huffman. So, no. Should. Oh. It's a yeah, the joke, I get that joke, is because um, uh, she she was the woman that um, paid, bribed uh, colleges for them to like take their kid. Um, because it, she wasn't like the kid wasn't accepted um, at a, like a very prestigious college, so she paid, she bribed them for them to like be able to go to that college, and it was like this whole scandal. And I think she went to jail, so <laughs> that's the joke, and that's what people are like, oh, like he went there. It's her daughter. I feel sorry for. Okay? Yeah, that must be the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to her. And her dad was in Wild Hogs, so. <laughs> Lots of big celebrities here tonight. I mean, legends, icons, yeah? Look, at this table alone. Uh, Al Pacino, Robert De Niro. But... Let's, let's see them. I can't see Al Pacino. Baby Yoda. Oh, uh, oh that's, that's Joe Pesci, sorry. Um, oh, because I love you, man, more. don't have me whack. Um, but tonight isn't just about the people in front of the camera. In this room are some of the most important TV and film executives in the world. People from every background, but they all okay. have one thing in common. No. They're all terrified of Ronan Farrow. Oh, he's because coming he makes for you. Pussies. He's coming for you. Yeah, he's a journalist. Look, talking of all you, you I, have, it, <laughs> I have to say so far, like his jokes are going like, um, I don't even know, like, they're, people are not, they're not into this at all, like, no one's laughing, everyone's just sort of like, let me have a drink, like, people are not enjoying this in the least, he's going like a wet blanket um, on these people. It was a big year, it was a big year for movies, um, oh my surviving God. R. Kelly, leaving Neverland, two popes, <laughs> shut up. Oh no, my god. I, I don't care. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, people are not, no. Many talented people of colour were snubbed in major categories. Um, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about that. The Hollywood foreign press are all very, very racist. So, Ooh. fifth time. So, Ooh. we were going to do an in memoriam <laughs> this year, but when I saw the list of people that had died, it wasn't diverse enough. It just, no. Oh my god. It was mostly white people, and I thought, nah, not on my watch. So, <laughs> oh my God. Maybe next year. Let's, 
No, don't say that. No. no one cares about movies anymore. No one goes to the cinema. No one really watches network TV. Everyone's People watching do. Netflix. This nah. show should just be me coming out going, well done, Netflix, you win. Everything. Good night. But no, no, we got to nah. drag it out for three hours. You could binge watch the entire first season of Afterlife instead of watching this show. That, that's a show about a man who wants to kill himself because his wife okay. dies of cancer. And it's okay. still more fun than this. Okay? Oh. <laughs> Spoiler alert, um, season two is on the way. So in the end, he obviously didn't kill himself. Just like <laughs> yeah, Jeffrey I'm guessing. Epstein. Shut up! I know he's your friend, but oh. I don't care. <laughs> oh my god. You had to make your own way here, in your own plane, didn't you? Right, but People, seriously, yeah. most films are awful. Lazy. Remakes. Sequels. I've heard a rumour that there might be a sequel to Sophie's Choice. I mean, that'd just be Meryl Streep going, well, it's got to be this one then. All the best actors have jumped to Netflix and HBO, you know. And the actors okay. who just do Hollywood movies now do fantasy adventure nonsense. They wear masks and capes and really <laughs> tight costumes. Their job isn't acting anymore. Where it's is going, he going to the gym twice a day and taking steroids, really. <laughs> have, we got a, have we got an award for most ripped junkie? No. I have to say, he has no a point. No point. We know he'd win that. Um, Martin no, Scorsese, the greatest Everyone's living really, director. These days, like, all those actors, they're, like, so buffed and so, like, jacked up. And he's like, why do you have to be so, like, buffed up? And then why, why do you have to have so many muscles if, like, the character is not... It doesn't really, like... I don't know, why, why, why are you like this? <laughs> like, so he kind of does have a point there. Made the news for his controversial comments about the Marvel franchise. He said they're not real cinema and uh, they remind him of theme parks. I agree. Although, I don't know what he's doing hanging around theme parks. He's not big enough to go on the rides, is he? <laughs> yes. Tiny. Yes, he's short. <laughs> Get bad that he hadn't right. heard that before. The Irishman was amazing. It was amazing. Um, look. It was. My fact, my, it was great. Uh, <laughs> People are not... Well, come on, clap. Long. People aren't even clapping. But amazing. Um, it wasn't the only epic movie. Once upon a time in Hollywood, nearly three hours long, Leonardo DiCaprio attended the premiere, and by the end, his date was too old for him. Uh, <laughs> no, because he's always dating like younger, younger models. No. Even Prince Andrew's like, come on, Leo, mate. You know, oh no. <laughs> you're nearly fifty, no. son. Um, the world got to see James Corden as a fat. Okay. Also in the movie Cats, but oh, no one saw okay. that. Um, and the reviews, <laughs> no, the oh, shocking. I saw one that said, this is the worst thing to happen to cats since dogs, right? <laughs> but Dame Judi Dench defended the film, saying it was the role she was born to play. A cat? She, I can't do this next time. <laughs> oh, because, oh, oh. Because I, she loves nothing better than plopping no. herself down on the carpet Lifting her leg and licking her. No, 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 no. Verbal, <laughs> No, She's this. Um, this is. I was. I was gonna say, like, is she not in the audience? Because, like, like they would have got to her. Like, I can't believe he said that, and she would have been like, I would have. I want to see her face. Like, she would have been like laughing or she would have been like oh come on get out of here because that was like oh my god i can't believe he said that it's the last time who cares he, oh. he does appear to be having a pint apple roared into the the tv game with a morning show a superb drama yeah a superb drama about the importance of dignity and doing the right thing made by a company that runs sweatshops in China. So, mm -hmm. well, you say you're woke, but the companies you work for, I mean, unbelievable. Apple, Amazon, Disney. If I started a streaming service, you'd call your agent, wouldn't you? So, mm -hmm. if you do win an award tonight, it's gonna don't use it as a, a platform to make a political speech, right? You're in no position to lecture the public about anything. You know well, nothing about the real world. Most of you true. spent less time it's in true. school than Greta Thunberg. So, if you win, right? Come up, accept your little award, and take leave. your agent and your god, and... <laughs> so, 
Yeah, I mean, I, again, like, that, he kind of does have a point there. It's like, already it's three hours long. Yeah, <laughs> his face. Right, let's do the first award. The first award. The first award is for best actor in a television series, musical or comedy. To present the award are a couple of actors off the telly. What can I say? Jennifer Aniston and Reese Witherspoon. In a little while, we're going to see a, a short clip from The Irishman. Um, it's 88 minutes long. <laughs> oh, because the movie lasts three hours. <laughs> In the meantime, here are Sofia Vergara and Matt Bomer. Welcome back. Still having a good time? Good. Oh my god, the mood As like... you know, the meal tonight was all vegetables. Okay. As are the members of the Hollywood Foreign Press. Oh. Oh no. Please no. welcome their president, Lorenzo Soria. Oh no, that's not... That's not... Hello, no. we're back. Um, Knives Out has three nominations tonight. Yeah. Finally, so See what years. can happen if you don't dress people up as cats? It's, it's that easy. <laughs> Here are two of the nominated stars, Anna de Armas and Daniel Craig. Star of The Spy, Sasha Baron Cohen. Where, wait, where's Ricky Derby? He's, um, he's supposed to be his pet. Uh, the, um, the hero of this next movie is a naive, misguided child who spreads Nazi propaganda and only has imaginary friends. His name is Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry, this is an old intro for The Social Network. Um, I'm actually talking about Jojo Rabbit. It's nominated for two Golden Globes and is directed by its star, the brilliant and groundbreaking Taika Waititi. Here it is. Hello, welcome back. Um, <laughs> I've got drink, nothing like, negative to say about these next two presenters. Okay. Because the big one could snap me in half. So okay. oh. please welcome Zoe Kravitz and Jason Momoa. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, because he's very like tall and muscular. <laughs> amazing. Um, <laughs> Dead Ben, amazing. A lot of controversy <laughs> uh, about our next category. Okay, no what? female directors were nominated this year. Not one. Okay, that sucks. I mean, that, that's bad. Um, I have, genuinely, I've had a word with the Hollywood Foreign Press, and they've guaranteed that will never happen again. Um, sure. Uh, because working with all the major studios, um, they've agreed to go back the way things were a few years ago, when they didn't even hire women directors. And oh. that will solve the problem. No. You're welcome. No, no. And now, please welcome two nominees tonight, Helen Mirren, and from the movie Pain and like... Glory, Antonio Bandera. <laughs> We're nearly done. <laughs> oh, Jeez. come on. You're getting paid too. Yeah, it's already. <laughs> right, um, last one, last one, come on guys. <laughs> Our next presenter starred in Netflix's Bird Box, a movie where people survive by acting like they don't see a thing. Sort of like working for Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> I was going to say he's going to go there. You did it. You, I didn't. You did it. Yes. I, I, I knew he was going to go welcome, there. Sandra Bullock. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I knew that was his like... That's it. Yeah. Good night. Thank you. Please donate to Australia. Have a great time. Get drunk. <laughs> Take your drugs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was funny. <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah, th this went sort of like how I was expecting it to go. Sort of like, again, sort of like making fun of everyone in a way that I don't think it went well. Like, if I had to um, guess, I would say most of these people were not laughing. They were not having a good time. I don't think it's well well liked, I have to say, because the the mood in the room was... Again, people were not into this. They were not laughing. They were not clapping. They were not doing anything. Kind of sad that people were not, you know, were not, they were not into it.
in the list. So that was also quite interesting because you're seeing it live. So it's not, you know, there's not like pre-recorded reactions or anything. So you can actually see like how people were reacting to this in real time. But yeah, you know, this was, this is real funny and really interesting. And hopefully you enjoyed it as well. And I'll see you next time. Bye.